Hey guys, it's your girl Pammy and welcome back to my channel. So today marks my 24th week and 24, is it this way or this way? Um, so yeah, I'm 24 weeks today with baby girl and I'm feeling fantastic. Although I do feel like I'm pregnant. Now the past few months, like seriously, like my beginning of my pregnancy till now, I, I have felt so good and just recently, like this past week, I felt like it's been dragging and it's been forever like the week has been just so slow i think it's because of the weather also it's been just gloomy dreary rainy and i think along with that it just makes my mood just not not there i finally feel like i'm pregnant now because i can really feel her my belly is certainly there um i definitely do feel like bloated a lot more bloated than i've ever felt throughout this pregnancy so I don't know if it's water retention. Now, I don't have like any swelling going on right now, but I think it's the beginning of that. So I'm trying to maintain um, active because I think being active kind of helps with the swelling and with the water retention. So I've been on top of that. And yeah, I've been just really exhausted all day today. I've been running around. I have a birthday dinner to attend tonight. And I had to find a present for a really, really good friend of mine. And I honestly didn't know what to get her. So I think what I got her is probably something she'll like. Because we've talked about it before. She owns it. And I don't know. I think every girl likes it. So um, yeah, I've been just running around. And I finally got that done. And then I had to run from store to store. And then I'm finally home and filming for you guys, talking to you guys today. So yeah, that's been my day so far with baby girl, and um, she's been really good to me. But yeah, I want to start off with the things that I've been buying her. I know I've been showing you guys in every video, but I honestly have been picking up things for her from week to week, which is crazy, and I probably shouldn't do that until my baby shower, but what can you do? It just happens. It just happens when it's your first one. So I want to start off with what I got her. And the first thing that I picked up is this really cute dress. I don't know what the brand is, but it's super adorable. It is a size six months. And I thought this would be perfect for her because by the time summer hits, she'll be about four or five months. So I think she should be able to fit this. It's so adorable. It's got flowers, of course. And then on the bottom, it's got the little shorts that she can wear, which I think these are super cute. And then if you flip it to the back, I don't know if you guys can tell the details, but it's got ruffles at the bottom. If I flip, lift this up, you can see the ruffles going on at the bottom. So I thought this, this was a super cute dress and I just had to pick it up for her. And the next is this one cute, adorable fleece onesie. I don't know what they're called, but they're on the sleepies and it's like a fleece sleepy. It's a one size and the brand is called Carter's. And it says, Daddy loves me. I swear I don't try to or mean to, but everything I buy her says Daddy something. <laughs> so she has a lot of those already. But I thought this was cute and it's pink. Super adorable. It zips all the way down and then it doesn't separate her feet or her legs. So her feet are actually all together inside and I'm sure she'll love that so she can wiggle her little two legs and feet in there. So I think she'll really like, like this. And also I have been shopping at Walmart lately and I picked up these really cute hangers for baby girl. Now I think it comes in a set of 10 hangers for $1. So that's an amazing price. I think um, I will go back and coupon some more because I need to start buying more hangers. I didn't think I was going to hang up her clothes, but I think her clothes are so just, they're just so cute that I just can't see them being put in the drawers or anything like that. I'm pretty sure after I have baby and after all the clothes that I wash, I'm sure I'll change my mind. But for now, I think I'm going to invest in hangers and um, they're only a few bucks. And then the last few items were purchased from or at Target and I picked up this adorable onesie for her and it says daddy's favorite and it's so adorable it's so cute it's got the little gold crown and it says daddy loves me or daddy's favorite and it's the circle brand and i got a really good deal on this so i had to pick it up and of course i got her newborn 
size. I should stop buying newborn for her because I know she has a ton of newborn and I know she's gonna grow really fast, so I'm trying to stay away from it. But a lot of the things that are on really good deals are on or are newborn sizes, so I'm trying to stay away from them, but they're just too cute. And I'm pretty sure I will be playing dress up with her, so I will put these clothes to very good use. And then the last onesie that I got her says, my mommy is super. And finally, I picked up a onesie that says mommy and then whatever. And um, here is this onesie. This is super cute, also from Target, like I said. And it is the Circo brand, or Cerso. I don't know how you pronounce that, but super adorable. Just very simple. I can just throw her in a onesie and then, you know, swaddle her up and she's all set. So the last item is this super adorable, just very cute ask sandals, pair of sandals. I picked these up for a really, really good deal and I just thought these were so, so her um, and super girly. It's a size zero to three months. So when she's about three months, she should be able to fit this during, I don't know, I'm due in February. So if I do go accordingly, about May when spring comes around, she'll be able to wear these and it'll be perfect. I was thinking about, I actually didn't know, these would be super cute with these, with this dress. So I thought this was cute and it's Velcro. So it's just easy to Velcro on and off and just slip her two little feet in here. So I thought that was a cute steal and I just had to buy that for her. And that is pretty much it with the things that I purchased. And then of course, moving on with the Baby Center app. I haven't been reading this for you guys. It's really hot in the house and it's really hot outside and I think with the weather going back and forth, it just makes me feel like sick. But anyway, it is October 17th, 2015. I have 112 days to go. That's so crazy. I know your baby is as long as an, as an ear of corn. Wow, that's pretty big. <laughs> so yeah, baby girl is pretty big now. Um, it says your baby's growing steadily, having gained about four ounces since last week. That puts him or her at just over a pound. Since your baby is almost a foot long, he or she cuts a pretty lean figure at this point. But your baby's body is filling out proportionally and, will, and it will soon start to plump up. His or her brain is growing quickly now and taste buds are continuing to develop. Your baby's lungs are developing branches of the respiratory tree as well as cells that produce surficent, suffocant, surficant, a, subs a substance that will help air sacs in the lungs inflate once your baby hits the outside world. His or her skin is still thin and translucent, but that will start to change soon. And I'm so out of breath and I'm quite hot right now and I'm having like heat flashes. But <laughs> um, yeah, that's the center, baby center app info. And, um, oh, and also my last video, I did mention about switching over to a different hospital and a different clinic. So, and a new doctor. So, you know how I was telling you guys how I was worried about the new office not calling me? I got a phone call from them about a few days ago and everything is finally set. I have a new doctor and I have my appointment coming up next month on the 6th, I believe. What else can I update with you guys? Um, appetite wise, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about like what I've been craving. Uh, I haven't been craving anything crazy or out of the ordinary. I think recently though, like this past week, I've been wanting to eat fruits. So last night my husband and I went out and got fruits like at nine o'clock at night. I have been slacking off on my workouts and fitness. Um, I just haven't been on top of it for some reason. So I've been slacking, but I've been doing yoga at home. So I think that kind of evens out. But other than that, I've been slacking my workouts. I've been trying to stay active around the house because Song takes my car. We have two cars and my car is more of a practical daily driver. So I, he takes my car and I don't have a car to kind of roam around town or go to the gym. So when it's like a rainy day, since it's, past week has been raining. I haven't been able to go to the gym because I have to walk to the gym. And when it rains, girl, I ain't going to get wet and get sick. So, um, 
I just didn't I just haven't been motivated lately and it might just because I've been so sluggish and everything has just been taking a toll on me. I think we have like three months and a half or something until we get to see baby girl. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then we will move forward to the baby bump. much for always listening and staying to my weekly pregnancy updates it's been a joy ride with you guys and I absolutely enjoy sharing this with you guys and I have no problems to answering any questions or just reading any of your comments down below don't forget to if you guys would like to ask me anything down here and also uh, like I said I'm always open I try to comment back ASAP as soon as I upload my video I just don't think it's I don't think it makes sense if I respond back like three weeks after I made a video. So I always try to stay updated with my YouTube, my networking channels, Instagram, and Facebook. I will link them down below so you guys can connect me with there if you guys don't connect me here. Um, and yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, hello! And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already somewhere or down here. And like I said, thumbs up if you guys want to see more videos from me. And by the way, before I end this video, I have been debating for the longest time on vlogging about my life. Now, I've been slacking off on making videos about beauty and fashion because I know those things have been like things that I've been doing, things that I've done initially with this YouTube and then now that I've had a huge new chapter to my life which is baby girl I've just been updating and vlogging about that so I feel like you guys are getting to know me a little bit more and I feel like you guys I feel like I should share a little bit more with you guys because I'm just comfortable with you guys so I've been debating on vlogging so Comment down below on what you guys think. Do you guys want to see me vlog my life? My life is kind of boring, but I do think that I can make it work, you know, because I do wake up at 3 in the morning, so my day will be long and long, so I, I will try not to make it boring, and um, it's my life. Thumbs up if you guys want to see a vlogging channel or vlogging videos from me. I just think it would be very interesting. I hope to see you guys in my next video and I'm heading out. I'm going to get some rest because I have a dinner date to go to tonight with a few friends. So I will talk to you guys soon.